Hello dear Crusader Kings 3 players. As you all have seen in the thumbnail, we are going to cover interesting characters to play in CK3. Some of those characters are totally mythological, some of them claim to be descended from a mythological ancestor and some plays a part hundreds of years later from the Middle Ages. Unfortunately their stories are quite long, therefore I had to divide them into different videos to not to bore you. I will start this series with two characters, one is actually mythological and the other claims to be descendant of a mythological high king. The very first character comes with 867 start, Bozok Ozol. Bozok is not really an interesting character by himself. His traits differ in every start, he is not a landed character and he is not very different from other Turkey characters around the Central Asia. However, the main difference from them is his dynasty, Oz. Bozok's father is Oz and he has two children, Bozok and Ucho. Also, even though he is only 19, Bozok has two children called Kun and Ai. If you have a knowledge of Turkic mythology, you might have already understood who Oz actually is. He is the mythological Khan of Turkic people and the ancestor of all Oz Turks. In the legend of Oz Khan, he fought against beasts, dragons and became a folk hero. One day, he was praying to Tengri until he saw a supernaturally beautiful woman enlightened by a light beam coming from the sky. They made love there and they had three sons called Kun, Ai and Ildis. Years later, also another supernaturally beautiful woman while hunting, he married with her and had three sons called Kök, Tau and Tengiz. After they get mature, uh, he gave a golden bow to his firstborn tree and called them Bozoks, literally meaning silver arrows in Turkish, then gave three arrows to his younger sons uh, and called them Uçoks, meaning three arrows. After this small mythology lesson, I think you understand who Bozok Ozol and Uçok Ozol really is, because uh, his sons are Kun and I too. Probably Paradox wanted to add the mythological forefather of Oz Turks as an easter egg traveling through Central Asia and you might want to play with him to spread the word of Tengri over the world. Unfortunately, he is not stationary in a Central Asian state. He can be found inside Oz Il, Jant or Signak. If you couldn't guess where he is in the first try, you could change into the realm where he is spawned. When you find him, basically just land him and change your character to play as the legendary Turkic dynasty Oz. Before the second character, would you consider subscribing to my channel? I'm creating content including guides about strategy games and every subscription motivates me to create better and more. The last character is High Chieftain 8 of Mead. Many of the names are from Irish and I tried to find their original pronunciation, however I couldn't find some of them. Thus I wanted to apologize if I made uh, a mistake before I start. 8 on Ale can be found in 867 start in Ireland. He is an insular Irish character with an eye-catching dynasty. House Nail takes their name from the Nile of the Nine Hostages, a semi-historical and legendary Irish high king. Irish annals are not really sure in which period of time he lived and some of them claims that he lived in 4th century and some claims that in 5th or 6th centuries. In Crusader Kings, the line from 8 to Nile can be followed and the legendary king can be seen. In a story, it is told that Nile finds a hag who demanded a kiss in return of the water. Nile kisses the ugly hag and she turns into a beautiful maiden who rewards him not only with water, but also kingship for Ireland. There are many tales written about Nile in the Middle Ages and one of his descendants, who is a historical figure, Aid McNeil, is a playable character in Crusader Kings 3. He is a great opportunity to start the game and unite Ireland. You might even want to revive old paganic fate of Celtic people to spread it over Ireland and become a legendary king yourself. 
If you want to know more about reviving dead religions like paganism or Hellenism, I will add a link in the description or you can click on the info card to check it. Also, the family on ale had spread over the world and many Irish clans descended from them. Quite interestingly, the genetic studies showed that there is a genetic Y chromosome haplotype that is common in 25% of Northern Ireland's male population that is descended from a common male ancestor. In today's world, 2 to 3 million people bear this haplotype and it is suggested that this progenitor might be the High King Nile himself. If you want to check for more information about this subject, I will going to put a link in the description where you can see the original article about the descendants of O'Neill. And that was the last mythological character I wanted to cover in this video. I'm planning to make another character suggestion video which will focus on historical characters in the next week. I hope you subscribe to my channel. For now, goodbye.